Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Once again, we are going to be trading EES futures. So to start out, we're gonna be throwing it in regression mode and when the market opens, which I believe just happened, we're gonna be arming it in both directions. Of course, we're doing so because of this high chop zone here. Of course, we have this, the presence of this band up here, which we don't really have to consider to be relevant in the same way right now, but we're gonna be using this as our lower band. Another really uh, slow market open, hopefully this does not continue to be the trend. All right, so there goes our first fill of the day. Um, we're gonna be arming in both directions, basically just queuing up the next order and ensuring we know that if there's another trade after we get filled or stopped out, then our strategy will still be enabled and automated. All right, so there's our first one of the day. Um, fortunately, that was a much quicker win. I want you guys to keep paying attention to these POC levels here. Right now, we have sort of a downward bias, still within this chop, but entropy is becoming a factor the more time we've spent since then. For this level, I wanna iterate that we're approaching it at least. And if we get a close above this, that doesn't mean we need to immediately switch into trend mode yet. This was so far ago that we need to wait for additional confirmation. This is compounded by the fact that we didn't see absorption at this level, didn't even reach inside of this zone. So we need to see some kind of POC zone form here. Before we switch it out off regression mode into trend, if we see a breakout, I'm just trying to give you guys the rundown of what my thought process is. And a lot of that has to do with thinking of various scenarios that come out of each one. Of course, if we break down here, probably would be in a pretty immediate with the trend mode because of such how much of a drastic move we'd need to have for it to break out of this level, at least in the short term. All right, so there's that second fill of the day. It's gonna be another long trade. Um, this time it's right outside of this zone. If we get strong POC confirmation as well as a strong increase in delta will switch immediately into trend mode if we get filled on this trade but if we're still looking at weak POC and delta doesn't really change I'm not sure I want to make that switch at least this quickly this is that would be a pretty drastic just straight up shoot and we need additional confirmation just it being above this zone alone is not enough especially because of how wide this range is so right here um not only did I not catch the fill we have filled pretty quickly into another trade i do want to point out that of course we had a wedge shaped poc here so you can see that poc is near the bottom of the bar and you can see that as we get higher in the bar it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier progressively Target filled. and we got filled really quickly on that trade just complete depression there right back into this zone and that's really what you got to look out for on these things that happened really really fast but stuff like this where it's a very sticky zone and with poc being forming a zone right below it they're gonna see that happen i mean i definitely don't think that that was a predictor of this huge just wall right there but nonetheless it's i think it's pretty interesting now we're getting that volatility so we had consecutive back-to-back -back fills there and we haven't switched out of regression at all. Um, it's just been ping pong throughout the zone. Fill. And there's another fill. Wow, we're we're just getting total different to oh, total difference from um, our last day yesterday. If we win this trade, that's I think that's gonna put us right above our um, our take profit for the day or our profit target on the day. So we actually have just been in regression mode the entire day. We haven't changed anything. There's no action on us. It was just you guys had done the exact same thing where it was just leave it. Same thing would happen. Of course, if we get stomped out here, we will have to rearm the strategy. All right, that puts us right above our profit target on the day of $5,000. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today and I hope it was useful to you guys, especially the fact that we didn't have to change modes at all today. So it's pretty easy to trade. I think you guys could have been could have picked up off that quite easily. And if you guys haven't checked out the Polarity ATI yet, we are running a 20% off spring cleaning sale. Basically just start out, start spring off. You take 20% off site wide. That includes machine IDs and the analytic chart four plus and anything like that. So thanks so much guys for watching and see you guys soon.